Oh, I know why. Okay, I'm good. Seasons and every Hanoka build that exists, regardless of how good. There's always an argument to say the Seasons turn again is like a viable card in like every build. I'm pretty glad he got rid of the All name right. of this flag with the only target being Silent Wall. Really? Doesn't matter. It's just a three two. He just refuses. He's just allergic to playing a beatdown deck. Always has to have some other bullshit in it to make it make sense. But whatever. I like the three two there. I mean, just having a three two, I think, is just fine. I mean, as a finisher, when he went into rhythmic arc instead. I mean, it's just heavier flare cost. I would have really liked to have seen um, Silent Icebreaker, but whatever. I think that would have served him better. But I guess we'll see. You gonna get blacker now? Okay, yeah, I see you. Okay, yeah. All right. All right, let's see here. There we go. Okay, so opening hand slash is not good to have in your opener. Balsam's fine. Vivacity's who cares? Wow, swing rush and cut down drawn out for M4. Also not great. I'm not really sure what they're. I don't know why they just didn't hold on their mulligans. This is very bizarre. I would have liked to have seen M4 not mulligan this way. Option to A1, A1's fine, who cares? This card slash feels really bad. Probably not gonna get the value though. Okay, he's opting for a slower build. I'm sure with Yarina, it's probably better to focus a bit more. Um, I think it, mm, that's kind of a big read. I would have liked, it would kind of been interesting in range. Right, for M4 to open. It would have been kind of interesting for M4 to A2 last turn and threaten in the name of this flag. Kind of would have been interesting to threaten. Whatever. All right. All right, advance. Yeah, the throughout flag. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got I got played on me, but I was playing some bullshit career A2 build that fucked me up. I was like, all right. I didn't even know career A2 had two attacks. Still blows <laughs> my mind. But anyway. Um, Erlong's turn, Brandish is useful, useless, Pommeltoss is useless, you could argue that Vivacity is useless, Balsam is fine just to get the, the pedal and to get a free flinch, I don't know why not, might as well, you have the pedal now, take it while you can, and then it's going to be probably a good amount of advancing. Um, the trick is uh, managing your distance, you want to end your turn around distance, mm, let me think, maybe seven here? See, okay, look, this is really big. I want to actually talk about this because I, I think this would, this would be pretty juicy, right? Um, you're forcing your opponent to get less value if you would have just played the 2 1 here at the 48, right? If your opponent takes it to or it unor locks him and forces him to move forward, which is true. But at the same time, you get to recover and your opponent has to walk into you and has to spend the resources recovering. Because M4 is next turn, right? It's just going to be focused advance using his two vigor and he's going to unload a bunch of attacks. But in this way, if he would have had the 2-1, it would have denied him the focus, and he would have had a better time being able to recover as well, instead of having to advance here. Like, that's where I really like the 2-1 here. But now M4 is just going to um, spend 2, he's going to focus, he's going to advance, he's just going to drop a bunch of attacks. Of course, there's going to be a bit of variation here. Like, he's probably not going to use 2 Vigor, he's probably going to drop, like, the Charm of Blossoms or something, but <sighs> the point remains. Also, I just don't like, I would have swapped out like Vivacity, but I don't know. Vivacity is just a weird card to me. Like, it feels like Erlong built a deck that's like, all right, I'm going to be have a bunch of amazing cards when I have palms up. But even with the choice of like different cards he could have picked, I still think he would have had a fine time during his, uh, during his uh, palms like triggers. But... Oh, well. Yeah. Plug in my phone. M4 still doesn't have any um, flare though, which is mad. I mean, he kind of has a flare heavy build, right? He's running rhythmic, resonant, and seasons turn. So, eh, it's not a big deal, I guess. But I guess you kind of do in general, like have more expensive cards. Hello? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah. I agree. He's got a lot of expensive cards. He just and he's gonna need to focus anyway to move up. But yeah, would have just all right. Cut down comes down, goes to life. Swing rush comes down. Debatable, probably. What the hell? 
Oh, a lot of, I don't know, M4's been, I don't know what his deal is. He's not been playing super well recently. Honestly, like, no shade, but after Kanawe nerfs, dude, M4 is just plummeted. This is doomed. <laughs> his play of quality of play has uh, diminished. Now that K Kanawe isn't a little annoying to play against. <laughs> <laughs> no shade, he says. All right. Oh, got the god draw enhancement. Um... Yeah, is, does he can how much can he string together? I mean, see, like, you can't string together anything here. So he did the cut down didn't come down. He holds on to swing rush. Eh, ugh, I just I'll be right back. Nope, proceeding it. So he's gonna get the thrush. Three two followed by two one seems pretty good. Oh, he's going to reach for him. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Is he dead? Oh, he's moving up <laughs> yeah. and pommel thrusting. Okay. Well, that's a 1-1 one, one into sure. a 2-1. Amazing. Definitely worth. Into a 3-2. It... Sure. He takes it to Aura if he's... Well, is there a punish here? If he uh... takes the 2-1 to Aura, then he eats a 3-2. Oh, he's taking a 2-1 right now. Why is he taking a 2-1? From the enhancement. And then he has 3-2, no reactions, uh, normal, which oh, it's... M4 is going to see this turn. Well, okay, this is, we, we can admit that this is kind of griefing by Erlon, yes? <laughs> we back up to R5 and give Sine a idea. Like at range 4 to 5, when you haven't seen swing, seen swing Rush played, and even if you have seen Swing Rush played, then it's still kind of griefing. Uh, but okay yeah he's just gonna unload on him i think he completely forgot this about season's turn here or didn't didn't think of it uh, i mean there's a, this is gonna be a massive punish and he chooses why not what why not advance this is a really weird yeah m4 is gonna string together a good amount of... okay so like there's arguments right that he doesn't want him to bloom which is like i'll hear it but he's still going to be able to bloom anyway. So, I mean, this is just like, this is really bad. Yeah, he's split the Yeah, difference. I mean, the... but he's going probably away. Just... I mean, honestly, just, it's just Charma Blossoms, right? You Charma Blossoms and um, Vigor to an A2 and just play the 2 1 and bloom, right? I mean, like, this is really bad for Erlong. Uh, well, I guess moving forward, he has to take a 2 1, which isn't ideal. It's not the end of the world. Also, correct. Oh, well, no, that's wrong. Never mind. This, yeah, season's turn is, uh, yeah, this is pretty disastrous now for Erlong, but let's see if he can make it happen. But yeah, he's going to have to turn everything around during his palms, which is the idea. And M4 is weaker to palms now, now that he doesn't have Icebreaker. So. He's still got his, his sacred charm. <laughs> That can hold something at bay for one turn. Uh, that 2 1 needs to be unguarded, by the way. That enhancement should so be unguarded. That's ridiculous. It does seem pretty really unbalanced as, as not unguarded. <laughs> if it's unguarded, then it's like Ash or whatever. But, like, that's, that's just ridiculous. I'm not a fan of like, it. Way... It's just balsam, but better. <laughs> uh, I just can't believe it's on both players' turns. Yeah. All right, so. And this is also, ooh, Brandish is a really nice pickup here, actually. Will he play it, though? Well, even if uh, he does, charming. M4 uh, is, is protected. Yeah. I actually like M4's play here. The only reason I like M4's play here is because of that enhancement. If that enhancement doesn't exist, I think it would have been way worse. Like him not to just A2, right? And just string together the 2-1 in bloom. But because of that, like, I respect this. I wonder if he's going to go for it. To be fair, he doesn't know Charm. Charm isn't exactly a common card. Like, as I said, I like M4's normal deck. M4's normal deck is fine. I just would have swapped out uh, the specials a little bit. But let's see what happens here now. Mm, is he going to go for it? He's thinking about it. This is really sad if the because he cause the brandish gets charmed here. That's like actually the end of the world. I mean, can, how much is he getting on Oof. palms? Is he getting anything? Uh, yeah, with a free I like license. just playing. 
You should just play the ball some, I think. I don't know. Backing it. Or is he taking back his forward? I think he's taking back his forward act. He's rethinking things. Which means he's probably not going for the brandish at this point. You really shouldn't. I mean, Balsam's just fine, right? You don't have to risk and end the world on getting your brandish getting charmed, and then it's just, like, really saddening. Like, I think he'd be more worried about the hilt slam, too. Given circumstances. Yeah, that's also true. Although I will say the one, I'm not really criticized, but one of the downsides was the way the M4 played his turn is his silent wall is kind of weak next turn. But. Oh, there's the He just wall. passed. Are you serious? Okay. I mean, who cares? You don't play Silent Wall here. That's crazy. You just set up for it next turn. Well, actually, I don't know. This is how I lost my tournament match. Maybe you do play Silent Wall. I don't know. Shit. Knowing M4, he'll probably play it too. Can he? Can they, the, the big question is, can he get to life? And the answer is yes. He can get to life this turn. Okay, he's not going for the sign. Petal Storm comes down, takes it to life. I think. Ooh, takes it to Aura. And backs up. Ooh. Um, this is horrible, actually. Mm, well, actually, well, uh, I don't know. This is weird. I don't know why Erlong is handshaking this particular range. It feels very bizarre to me. He's not stronger than M4 in this range. So I don't know why he's like, okay, fine. Like, play at this range. Like, honestly... Now, this is just a theory, but I'm pretty sure with Erlong, right? You just clinch, I believe, and you just threaten with the cards like Balsam, and like, you know, you open Urena. up the pommel. Yeah, like, your, okay. your entire Urena deck? Mm. But yeah, but like, if you clinch, it, like, it, it gives him so many more opportunities to string together some offense. And like, he can charge up his like growth, like with the, with the palms. And it actually makes pommel thrust better. Because with Pommel Thrust, okay, fine, you could agree that it makes sense that, like, you go to R3 to R4 using Pommel Thrust. And if you just clinch, you build up your C tokens, and then you just capitalize, and you basically unlock your combo with Pommel Thrust. Like, it's just so much better than playing this way. It has to be. Mm. Yeah, I just think he must be very concerned about Great Spirit Uka coming out and just shutting down all close-range options. But he's going to have to just deal with close range at some point, right? He's going to have... Like, maybe he's just waiting well, yeah, for not... his spreading palm to go in, but that's that's way too greedy. But even... Okay, like, even let's play around. Let's just consider, like, Uka. He's greater at Uka, right? So if he clinches, it makes Uka hard because he has to hit R5 for his next one. Like, you're skipping a whole bloom there. Like, that's the gimmick. You have to go to 2 to 3, then you have to go back to 5. That's not yeah, yeah, yeah. horribly difficult for Sina to do, but if you're clinching, it makes it even harder. But if he forces him for to discard the card, I guess, which is what he's done here i discard a card too if i had a three life lead and my opponent had zero one. yeah yeah, yeah. but he's, he's trying <laughs> he's disrupting the bloom chain by not letting him bloom at this turn which means he's gonna have to try and get it at some other random point on the next reshuffle but if it even needs to i don't know i don't know um, i don't think that's actually like a efficient play at all like yeah i mean the best way to counter bloom is just to like clinch your opponent and just open up when it's time to go. I mean... It, no, it's to, it's to have way... a reaction that cancels it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I mean... Okay, then you just... I mean... I'm trying to even think. What? So play Tokoyo? I mean, I mean, of course, you could ask any decent Sakura Arms player. Like, what Tokoyo, you say, Mizuki... Tokoyo? Uh, yeah. You could... Mizuki can't you... cancel throughout. <laughs> no, 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 no. To cancel, to cancel the Bloom Chain. So, like, you cancel the Guardian Spirit. Right? Oh. oh, I see what you're saying. I mean... Sure. Yeah, yeah, the other ones are no reactions now, so it's just like, okay, <laughs> you just get those. If you get in range, you get those. <laughs> I mean, this, uh, one of the things I actually like about Sakura Arms, and I don't like about Sakura Arms, is that you can't really stop your opponent from doing their combo chains. It's really just a matter of how expensive you can make them. <laughs> like, how much ore do they lose? How many cards do they have to lose to complete their combo chain? Like, you can't just turn someone off. M4 is just going to do it because he doesn't care. He's going to pass next turn, so he doesn't give a fuck. He's just going to make it harder. 
for Erlong, but this actually works in Erlong's favor because he gets to actually play the game now. So the first slash is going to come down. It's going to go to life. Brandish is going to go to aura. Balsam's going to come down. Vivacity is useless, as I kind of figured it would be, because it's only good in one particular combo of hand. So he has to sit on Vivacity. Could have even just been Hilt Strike and strung together some more life, but whatever. Hilt Strike doesn't exist so, for Arena A2. Uh, well, that's also true. I guess. What I, was it? He, it's Appeal now, I think. Uh, does he. he has, he's got to be running Appeal, right? I don't know what Appeal is. The 3 is 0. The three, no, three right. aura, zero life one that... Nope. Uh, nope. 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 Okay. Not running it. I don't know. That's probably... A, that's a decent card, too. Yeah, it so is. That card... Eh. That card's actually pretty strong, too. It's not as strong as the other one, though. But, I mean... But yeah, it chains is... with the other one, and it it has really strong flexibility just because of that action force thing. Yeah, it's pretty juicy. I know Hill Strike. Yeah, this is. I'm trying to think what else could he have brought. I don't the know. The downside to it is it doesn't break things like uh, Unguarded or things that are ended by life damage. See, you know what I think the problem is, right? And I think the problem is is that people view alternates as completely different characters and try to play them in a functionally different way. Well, that is true for some Megamis, I don't think Yurina completely switches up the game plan. Like, Yurina is still very much clinch, open up, break. And then, of course, like, I mean, you can aggressively focus. I feel like but A2 like, is trying... a lot less about resolve, though. Like, you can't really, you don't sure. really get it anywhere close to a strong of a comeback unless you go for, like, the all in final blow of play. Yeah, sure. But I'm just saying, but it still fundamentally plays the same. Is what all I'm saying. He just discarded Brandish. Well, that feels bad. But, and he ends at R3. I just don't understand why he's so happy at ending at longer ranges for M4. That just makes negative sense to me. Uh, I, uh, I don't understand it. Like, uh, uh, Is he going to play it? Is he, he going to no, you don't play Silent War here. Yeah, there's no reason to. No, he's gonna play his spirit. No, he's he, yeah. okay. He's gonna move up and play his spirit because he's worried about pommel thrust. Pommel thrust. Yep. Yeah. Bonk. Oh my God! It's the end of the world. No, he has his five attack thing. Five, three, uh, two, five range. five range, three, two, no reactions, gain a life. Pretty good card. Sure. I don't think that's a card you sit on, though. Like, it's good. Well, I don't know. If Erlang's just going to move to R5 for you every turn, you might as well hold on to it. I don't know. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I don't know if he's going to be moving to range 5 anymore. Oh, oh here we go. Okay. The 2-seed two, well, the two two Palm. Or Spreading Palm. Is it not 3? 2, because he had 1 seed and he played it, which gave him another seed. He only had 1 seed when he played it? Yep. Okay, well... But it's I cool, because you can resurge it. And now he's doing a 2-2 two, two Pommel Thrust. Amazing. Aura. Has to be Aura. Anything else? Well, can M4 counter kill? I think that's probably what he's thinking. If I take this to life, can I kill? No, no, no. It's it's Pommel Thrust. You take it to Aura. But... Okay, there we go. Oh, no. And now Don't he's going to Vivacity Thresh, which is going to just, three, just hit two. Aura. Yep. And pulse up. Oh, oh yeah, and he's got a balsam three two. That's all. Okay, is he dead? Erlong just dies. It's close, right? So yeah, that's gonna be a rhythmic arc turn, right? Potentially. Yeah, he doesn't have swing rush though. He doesn't have swing. He missed swing rush, so it's not lethal. <laughs> Arguments over the way balsam functions. Did he take it? What? Hello? Or did Erlon get the range wrong? No, it's three to five, is it not? What? Oh, is he thinking on a reaction? You can't think on it. Oh, he could wait, still. What? Mm, he can't oh, play he can that reaction. Oh, yeah, yeah, he could do the the Sakura charm. Because this is the beginning that's of that's main what he's thinking about. Your draw phase. Yeah, yeah, he gets yeah, the draw this first. Is intriguing. Uh, I'm not super sure about this. You probably take it to life, but I don't know that. I mean, alternatively, you could just play the I'm just going to charm it and then silent wall. I think that's what he's thinking about. I think that's his best turn. I think he should do that now that I'm thinking about it. Because if you charm... Or no, if you charm it, you can't silent wall, right? 
Is that the way that works? Mm, oh, you're right, because his main phase has started. He'd be taking he can't take it through a turn after playing actions. Um so the beginning of main phase, but yeah, I guess that's started. Yeah, I guess you can't do that then. Yeah, this is what he's thinking about, because if he charms he has a really sad turn. That's the that's the counterpoint here. Cause all he can do is just like recover. So that's kinda of, but it's like two life. It's like I don't know. And he leaves the game to think about it some more. <laughs> I'm buying himself some extra thinking time. Did that reveal his cards to the other player? No. It does not. Because the zone doesn't go away. Unless Erlong were to switch to red, then you wouldn't, wouldn't see the zone. And he's back. Alright, so what's the thought here? I don't know. You just take this to life, right? And just play Silent Wall? That's probably just better, right? Mm, okay. He's not doing that. I feel like but he, he can't play Silent Wall either. Oh, he's going to... Oh, he, uh, someone disagrees. Okay, if you're allowed to do this, then I agree this is a far better play. I didn't know you were allowed to do this. Uh, uh, there's one person I won't disagree with on rules. It's actually probably M4. Yeah, if you're allowed to do this, then I'm down. I don't know. I don't know how to play Sakuran. I've never looked at a rule book in my life. I've had <laughs> other people tell me the rules, and I hope they're right. Mm -hmm. What? Okay. Sure. As I said, if that's a ruling, what does that have to do with anything? They're still in the main phase, is it not? I don't know. If M4 says it's right, it's probably right. But to be fair, you <laughs> functionally, right? You haven't done anything during your turn. I just don't know if like the reactions, like a part of your turn, like part of your action phase or whatever the fuck. Like he hasn't done anything during his action phase. I think. But it's the start of his main phase that the attack happens. And during his main phase, Basic actions, normal cards, any order, any amount, or throughout card. Only one. Yeah, but he's on the arrow above the main phase. No, 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 <laughs> kind of no. Checking the FAQ. When in doubt, look at the Japanese FAQ, because English one got taken down. It's actually funny. I actually have the PDF from the L99 uh, FAQ pen. And they they couldn't, since I downloaded the PDF file, um, they can't, like, remove it like it got removed like there's no more access to the pdf i just have the old pdf or i have the embarrassment they, they got rid of their own faq because they were wrong no they're reconstructing it they weren't happy because marco's just obliviously copy and paste obviously copy and pasted everything so obviously after he obviously copy and pasted everything and then meng luo called out the fact that he was faq and cards that weren't even in l99 version and then eventually it was just got so bad he just took it down. Checking the FAQ. It says that uh, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm scared, I have no idea. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember anything like this from the FAQ myself. But... I have not looked at the FAQ ever. I just. Unless there's a rule that decides whether I win or lose, then I really don't care if someone says oh, the rule is. I guess whatever. he can't do it. Is that what you said? Well, it looks like he's taking the silent wall back to his hand. Oh, never mind. He's taking the charm back to his hand. So he takes the 3 2. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening here. High quality YouTube content. Huh. All I know is we've all failed as judges of the rules.
As I said, like if there is a comprehensive English rulebook that I could have easy access to, then sure, why not? But that is not the case. So I'm actually quite a good uh, rulebook reader, but there's just no real resources available for English-speaking people. All you can do is go through the Japanese FAQ and hope you find what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, I mean, the L99 rulebook is not ideal, considering that you play with one pile, which I'm not. I wouldn't even care if it's like they just shouldn't be in a pile. I don't know who 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 checked that off. Whoever checked that off and said yes, there should be one pile, and there would be face up and downside cards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, is out of their minds. <laughs> I think it might be a literal translation of the Japanese rules, but probably uh... is. But they don't even play like that. All you have to do is Google a Sakura Arms match and a, like a tournament match, and that's not even how they do it. Like the way they do it is they play their cards face up or face down in a row, in the order that they play them. Like, and we have some intense uh, FAQ checking here. Uh, in case you're curious, uh, all the millions of viewers at home. It, we're debating on whether or not you can play a reaction at the beginning of your main phase and whether or not that eliminates your ability to play a throughout card. Or for you, all you L99 people out there, a, uh, a f oh, yeah, actually, I forgot what the throughout's called. Hold on. It's not full force, is it? Full force is all out. Full power? Full power card. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Charwasa and the verdict is he can do it. Let's see what the FAQ says. I don't know. Either he couldn't find it and ruled in his favor, <laughs> or he found something and they communicated it in the call. If I were in Erlang's position, I'd be asking for... Okay, uh, the, the use of cards by correspondence does not correspond to the use of cards in standard behavior. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Let me let me get the let me get the read on this. The use of cards by reaction like how... does not correspond to the use of cards in standard behavior. I guess. Oh, okay, sure. Is what the what he posted on Twitter. After a uh, janky <laughs> Google, you know, it's really interesting the way they did either FAQ is just like you know what here's an FAQ and they just fucking tweet out <laughs> here's a rule update, and I'm sure it's I know it's all compiled somewhere, but Jesus Christ, Furioni FAQ. Well, that's extremely good then for M4 because Erlong just passed his turn. Because why not? He probably just recovered one or something. So now M4 does not get Swing Rush. That's unfortunate. He does get cut down, though. That's a free ticket to life. Because if he doesn't, then... Yeah, well, if he takes this to Aura, it's really ballsy. Can he do it? Yeah, he can't punish with Rhythmic Arc. By the way, shout out to in the name of this flag being really good right here. <laughs> like extremely good <sighs> because right because you play the 2-1 your opponent takes it to aura right and then you name the flag them if not they just take it to life and you're just happy so in the name of this flag being really good in oh this yeah, yeah situation in this situation where he's already winning very hard <laughs> exactly <laughs> I don't know. Actually, no, yes, I do. I, this is really grief, actually. I don't know. This is a... I don't know. I will say, well, the Indonesians in the tournament tend to play a little bit worse in tournament than they do in casuals. It tends to be a theme. Because our car X is actually like, decent. But I don't know, is he? I don't know. He griefed when I played him, too. I don't think I've ever played a match against car X. Or it hasn't been some degree of griefing going on. <laughs> I haven't played a match with him, period. But that's going to change tomorrow. Uh, nice. Yeah, I have a match with Mix. I can't play till. Well, I could play, but not reasonably until Tuesday. Uh, mm, honestly, I don't know. That was. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so funny. The match that he played against Wudo was pretty pretty depressing. I mean, Wudo was probably going to win, but the way that he did it was... Uh, it makes it's it just like, oh, if I was Omega Lucky, I would have won. <laughs> like, it's just like... <laughs> 
<laughs> that was his, that was his excuse. If I was Omega Lol, just out of my mind, lucky, and my opponent fell asleep, then I would actually win. And it's just like I was really tempted to mathematically break down the match. That even if he got Omega Lol lucky, I didn't think that he would win. After he got stomped, I was trying to mathematically prove that he would lose no matter what. But he wasn't down for it. <laughs> to look at the VOD to see if he mathematically couldn't win that match after he got destroyed. What he just lost in deck building. <laughs> Um, it was a horrible matchup to begin. He hung, it was Obro, um, Chikage with the Mikazura and Miss Fane shenanigans versus, um, Hagane Sine, which is Omega Lol gimmicks with sound device and, uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. centrifugal swing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you basically hope you draw a hammer, hope you draw a sound device, and oh, by the way, your hand's filled with poison. <laughs> it's like, it's like, yeah, and no, also you my can't. Cards research over and over again. <laughs> why did Why did you let him have Chicago? What was the other one? Uh, other one was uh, Utsuro. Maybe I know. Weird. I believe yeah, it was Utsuro. Yeah, <laughs> so that's weird. Like, I'm pretty sure you can't you can't let your opponent have Chicago if you're trying to run a Higana combo. <laughs> Yeah. Did he connect a single hammer that game? I actually don't remember. I haven't seen No, that. he didn't. He didn't <laughs> land a single hand. I, I knew, it's my ball. I haven't uploaded the match. There's no audio to it. Because I kind of just hoped my OBS was going to work. Like, it could have. It literally would have taken me two seconds to make sure there was audio, but I was like, YOLO. <laughs> yeah, also, he got... He, he, he kind of just... Well, the honest to God truth is he lost the game off of um, not playing around induced and getting seal stringed for two life damage, which was a pretty feels bad man moment. When he took the last attack to um, Aura, and then he got induced 2-2, and I was like, well, this game's over. Yeah, I well... I think he lost like four life in the first cycle. I think he lost like four or five life in the first cycle. It was pretty bad. I got I got hit by a 5-4 in my first match in the first cycle. So, to life. To like, or was Suga Kage Crush? No, it was uh, Suga Kage Crush in the first cycle would be impressive. <laughs> Five. Uh, no, no, it was it was uh, Yatsuha A one's uh, Ma of the Abyss. I like played into it stupidly, <laughs> but I guess Hero was uh, saying yeah, he could I've guarantee it anyway, and he could guarantee the five four hit by using determination. So basically, I just had to do weird shit to try and avoid it, but I didn't. I will say Yatsuha is actually really strong. Uh, yes, yeah, A1 a really is in a is much a better place now with the way the special gives you uh, a card absolutely. immediately. Yes, absolutely. I consider it to be actually strong. Like, is it the best? I don't know. But it's definitely astronomically better than it used to be. Yeah, because it used to be, like, you had to wait till the first reshuffle, hard. and you'd already be like, oh, they've already ducked under my Ma the Abyss range by the time I get it. But now you basically start with it in your hand. <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> Well, not if you're... And it's like, just try and get what? past me without three reflections. <laughs> Meg Lua actually opts into Knot Bloom more times than not, interestingly enough. <laughs> oh, he opens with Knot Bloom? Yeah, almost 100% of the time. Sounds greedy. That sounds greedy and gimmicky. Why? Well, you get more perfects quicker. It seems to make sense to me. The only perfect that matters is Mob the Abyss. <laughs> I get that second one. And third one, right? Because you perfect, then you perfect again after the reshuffle. So after your first reshuffle, you have three perfects. And you can just start deleting light with Knot Bloom. Yeah, it's pretty juicy. I feel like Knot Bloom's almost 100% a bring. I feel like with the Mall of the Abyss, it's very much a gotcha card. Like, haha, and then you just like lose the game, and it's like, goddamn, I'll, I'll, I'll play better next time. But anyway, back to the match. Uh, I don't know what happened. He played the throughout. Uh, I think it's oh. Erling's turn still, and uh, nothing. I thought happened. he played the throughout. Oh, oh, he did. He turn. did. He did. It's his turn again now. No. So it takes. M4 was deciding how he was going to react to it. Cool. <laughs> Dude, this is Omega Law feels bad for Erlang. He discards two cards. Gets two cards and he got to research his spreading palm. Spreading palm. But he has to discard two cards, right? Nope, because he has the increased hand size. Why? From the special. The oh, okay. Well, whatever. What does this say? No reaction. Wait, why was M4 thinking of how he was going to react? Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Perfect. Increased by a million. Okay, whatever. Sure. Uh... 
I don't I don't like that card. I don't think it's actually that good. <laughs> um, I don't even think it's that powerful. Like it's solid, but it's not like whoa, that's like game breaking. Yeah, it's it's a card that is always okay to play, which is what makes it good. Like, sure. It's just always value. Yeah, sure. But I mean so is Sukakage Crush, right? I mean <laughs> Sukikage Crush, if it gets dodged, is worthless. If yeah, have... I guess, but that's very matchup dependent. And if not, you could just, eh, I guess. You could argue then, okay, well then switch out that with Aranami Storm then, I guess. Like I mean... this one, its range is 0 to 5 and it's no reactions. It's just like, if you play it, it's going off. Yeah, sure. And you're getting everything there. It's oh. like, always playable. Well, actually, you play the Calvary and then you <laughs> hock on the Tetsu it, and your opponent leaves the game. <laughs> that's what happens. That's what I want to do. Just one day. I don't do. I don't care if I'm playing against a new player. Do I play Calvary and I just like cancel the Hatsumi or not Hatsumi, the uh, Himika like all out special with A1, and I just cancel it. Then that that's all on the bucket list. And Sakura Arm <laughs> to cancel A. No, to reaction. find to find a Himika A1 game. player who's noob enough to play their their final <laughs> Himika, Himika to the Cavalry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is on the that's on the Sakura Arms bucket list. See, Dad, this is just lethal, right? Oh no, he rhythmic arced already. I don't know what's happening. No, he resonant. But beat. That's how did he draw beat. a card? Oh, because he yeah, this game. GG XD. Oh no, he has no. You're not dead. You're still not dead. He quit. Not storming. <laughs> he quit. Oh, why are we not Aranami storming? Okay, whatever. I don't care. This game was over anyway. But I was just curious why he didn't Aranami storm. Quit. Could he have palmed again and killed him next turn? No, right? Yeah, Thor yeah, was like, why didn't you storm? Everyone... And he was like, ah, I was going to lose anyway. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Did he have lethal next turn? Not if I he mean, stormed. If he lethal? stormed, he would have no flair for palm, right? Uh, Well, yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I don't know. Erlong griefed it, so it didn't really matter.